in my kitchen. There's two reasons why I have my fan. One, we don't have air conditioning here and it's a little hot. And two, I'm making everyone to come out of their comfort zone because today we're going to be making Philly's Taste of the Orient Orange Chicken. It's sweet, it's spicy, we're going to have vegetables and chicken of course and I'm going to show you an easy way to make your own homemade shake and bake chicken. Are you ready? Let's get started. Alright, you're going to see a lot over here but I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process. Right now I have chicken tenders. Um, they're just a chicken breast, it's just a tender part because I'm doing the whole piece. I don't want to do chunks. And I already, don't worry, I remembered my eggs this time. You're going to beat six eggs just a little bit. It doesn't have to be anything major. You just kind of want to break the yolks a little bit. And then you're going to cover the chicken. You can do chicken nuggets or whatnot, but I just got two pounds of some chicken strips from the counter. You just pour it all in there. For people that don't like to touch meat, get some tongs. You just kind of mix them around. Just so, this way you can do batter. It'll stick. Set that aside. Now, I have extra breadcrumbs. This is just my plain basic breadcrumbs. However, this is made with rice crackers. And we have about three cups of rice crackers here, along with one tablespoon of pepper and a half cup of sesame seeds. And this is where you do the shake and bake. You just put it in the bag. Drips in. Shake it up. You're just gonna take a cookie sheet. You do about a half a cup of oil on the bottom. You just spread it around. Get your hand. Just spread it all over. I'm using olive oil. And again, if you don't like to touch meat, you can use tongs. I don't mind. You just take the chicken strip. Lay it on out. All right, I got my chicken done. It's going in the oven. For about 20 minutes, you want to watch it because there's no bones, there's no skin on this, so it's going to cook much faster. I'm going to put it in the oven, 150 Celsius, about 300 Fahrenheit. My one pet peeve with orange chicken is most times when you get it, there's no oranges in it. So I pureed three full oranges and then we have a fourth cup brown sugar two teaspoons of ginger we have one and one half teaspoon of almond extract then we have one and one half teaspoons of cinnamon I'm sorry three fourths teaspoons of cinnamon then we have one teaspoon of soy sauce and one teaspoon of Fresh red pepper, and I'm sorry, that's one tablespoon of soy sauce. We have one cup of water. I'm not sure if we're going to use the water because it's really humid here today because um, we're supposed to get storms. I can't wait because, like I said, I need the fans, man. And a half, four ounces of the awesome Philadelphia cream cheese. We're going to get the sauce made before we get our vegetables going. I do want to tell you, though, right now, if you want rice or pasta or anything to go with your chicken, get it going. Now the reason why I'm not using orange juice concentrate, because you can see this really looks like concentrated orange juice, which it kind of is just concentrated orange juice. I don't want all that um, extra sugar. These are a little sour. We're going to get this in with the brown sugar, because you want to kind of look caramelized. The last thing we're putting in is the soy sauce. And the crushed red pepper. I'm putting in the ginger right now because I want that to get mixed in good and get the flavors. Same with the cinnamon. Okay. You're going to just keep an eye on it. You want it to get kind of caramelized. I'm going to taste it. Mm. You can taste the ginger, mm. cinnamon. Mm -mm. It's a little too sour. So I'm going to go ahead and add another one fourth cup of brown sugar. 
And it, this is the Splenda brown sugar too. It's not straight brown sugar. But uh, yeah, like I said, these oranges are a little sour. So we're gonna have another fourth cup of uh, brown sugar in there. All right, we just added another fourth cup of Splenda brown sugar. Splenda is not as sweet as regular brown sugar. So if you're going to substitute and use regular brown sugar, only use a fourth a cup. But as I always say, taste it. Cause some oranges, you'll pick them, they're like super sweet. And others, they're a little more tart. Once you get the bubbling going, we're gonna add in the almond extract, almost said vanilla. And the soy sauce, we're just gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. Gluten-free soy sauce is the chili soy sauce because this is a gluten-free dish. Alrighty, I'm gonna taste it again here. Get my little tasting spoon. Mmm, oh my god. I'm gonna add in the rest of the soy sauce. Now I've added in the cream cheese and you're gonna cream it in. As you can see, it's getting really thick once we added the cream cheese, and that's why we may need water. I'm going to start out with a half a cup and just add it slowly. Let's see, because you're going to let this sit to let all the flavors blend while you're doing your vegetables. And yeah, we're going to do the whole cup because it's going to sit and get thick. Now we're going to add in the crushed red pepper. And you can add more red pepper. This is for me and kids, and I'm just as bad as a kid. I can't handle spice. All right. We're gonna let this simmer just one minute, and then we're gonna put it on the back burner and let it cool off, and then we're gonna go to our vegetables. When you step out of your comfort zone, that means new vegetables, okay? Now, I got broccoli. A lot of people don't like broccoli. My secret is, I just cut off the tips and we're going to steam it. My vegetables, I have one red pepper, one green pepper. I have two whole carrots, I put them through the food processor, finely sliced. We have one big onion, I have one pound of snow peas, mm, they're awesome. I have bamboo shoots and chestnuts. Now, I like my chestnuts really small, so I'm just going to put them in a little bit in here, nothing too major. I like to crunch all over with my veggies. About a half a cup of olive oil in my pan. I put my water chestnuts in. So in here, this will, that's what I'm talking about. Then we're going to put all our vegetables in. Oh yeah. Bamboo shoots. Ooh, give yourself a nice little stir fry. I'm not adding any soy sauce, nothing. It's just going to be the veggies. We're not going to cook these for maybe about five minutes, and you're going to want to constantly be stirring them while they're cooking. All right, we're going to take the sauce and just put it all over our chicken. Oh, it is so good. You could just smell this. Now for the taste. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it. <sighs> Maybe. Okay. <laughs> mm. Wow. Philly's taste could be orange. Orange chicken. Made with real oranges. It is awesome. Gonna tease y'all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, for my home here in Germany, to yours, wherever you're at, have a great day. Okay, I'm so teasing you all because in a few days we're gonna have the dessert and I am making something today that you guys won't see right away with the awesome chocolate cream shoes. Nah, 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 nah.